Hey guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University, Adventures of the Super Sons, issue number 6 of 12. Alright, I actually thought that this was uh, one of the Black Hawks, because that, no, that's actually um, Hawkman's suit. He's got a Batman symbol there, uh, Wonder Woman thing, Superman cape. It's actually Tommy Tomorrow. Didn't realize that. My bad. Um, and I'm not particularly overly familiar with Tommy Tomorrow, but a little bit. I'm going to get more into that in a bit. First off... Uh, Super Sons and Tomorrow Sometimes Dies, as opposed to Tomorrow Never Dies. Peter J. Tomasi did the story and words. Scott Golis uh, Gold Godleski did the art. Photobunker did the covers. Rob Lay did the letters. Dan Mora did the cover. All right. So uh, Superboy and Robin, <laughs> Batboy, they're on this planet and they're trying to hunt fruits. I love... Oh, jeez, I actually dropped my comic book. Man, I am sick. I love the 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 comment that was made when Superboy is just, he's he really is hyper, you know? And uh, Robin goes and says at one point, let's see if I can get this, this saying right, uh, he's more hyper than a dog on a squirrel farm. I'm going to have to try and remember that because that's about to be one of my new favorite sayings. <laughs> um... Anyway, Rex Luthor shows back up. And in my head, I'm just like, oh, God, it's way too early for Rex Luthor again. Like, I just, I don't think that we need him back this soon, you know? Uh, but he's pretty quickly disposed of by Tommy Tomorrow. Uh, I'm starting to realize more and more that this whole Maxi series is probably some kind of a tribute to some of Howard Shakin's work, including Twilight. Yeah, that's not Twi uh, Twilight by Meyer. That's, um, what do you call it, 1990s series. Um, I'm just seeing too many, too many things where it's like, it's reminding me of, you know, that a lot of the characters, a little bit of the plot, a little tiny bit. And that's a good thing. Twilight was actually good. I hope that this whole thing gives some kind of credit to that. Um, whatever. Maybe I'll just do a spotlight and story on it one of these days. Um, the... I don't know. They, there's still a bunch of quips back and forth that I that I really like between Superboy and and Robin, but uh, maybe it's. I think it's probably just because I'm sick. Uh, I feel like comics just aren't doing it for me this week. I don't feel like much of anything is doing it for me this week. But um, I don't know. Right now, this this issue just doesn't feel like it's quite up to um, up to the standard that I've I've come to recognize with the Super Sons. Anyway, again, this is probably just me, probably just bad judgment on my part because I'm so sick. Anyway, honestly, I am curious what you guys think because it's still the Super Sons and it still feels like them. I like that also the kids' hair is is growing. They've been away from home for so long. Um, I like that their hair is growing. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm about to go to Coffin Fit, so uh, good comic. All right, moving on. Professor Bill, Comic Book University. Class dismissed.